Okay. Uh, this is a follow-up video to my uh, UV protection video. So uh, if you haven't seen the other video, I'll just go over a couple of things that I did uh, to protect my comic books from uh, UV light damage. Uh, well, one thing I did was put curtains in all my windows. Um, then I also put some uh, uh, UV film on the windows. And then um, I have a friend that this this kind of thing, and he mentioned to me there's like a 8 mil UV film. Um, as you can see, it's pretty thick. And I asked him to cut it for me. So he cut a bunch so I can put it on my uh, slabs. Um, it's more for like accidental UV damage or exposure, I guess. I'm not going to just put this and just keep the books under the sun. Uh, <laughs> but sometimes, you know, you leave your window open, you forget. So this was just an additional protection. Uh, I've never done this before. I never tried, so I'm going to try it here for the first time. Uh, I'll see how that goes. Uh, it could be great or it could be a complete disaster. <laughs> so uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, there's a film that protects the... Um, actually, before you start, you want to make sure this lab is very clean. Uh, this says Windex, but it's actually soapy water. Uh, just a little bit of detergent in water. So what do you do? You spray some. Just a little bit, uh, just a light coat. And you kill this one. Oh, let's see, this one is a bad one. There's a manufacturing defect, but I'll, I'll, I'll put it in there anyway. It's not that bad. And of course, my personal favorites, Spider-Man's very own, and feel free to look with me. Stan was a visionary whose passion for art and storytelling left a lasting impact on pop culture and entertainment. Oh, on uh, best suit power. I guess Thor. Yeah, Thor. Who's a god? Spider-Man. Spider-Man, right, right. he usually kept his fingers in that toy one. Captain America's ability to do a Can you put it there? Um, nothing he showed me. Uh, it's, a, it's a little trick. You fold the paper towel. You can use a credit card or a piece of plastic. This is like a, a broken piece of a, a blind, window blind. Uh, you fold it like this. And slowly push it this way. Almost no pressure the first time. I'm glad I asked him to do like 30 uh, of those because I, I have some that I want to display on shelves and I suggested, you know, he did it and sold it to people, but he doesn't want to do it. It only costs like four bucks each, and he's not going to make any money, really. It's a lot of time to just cut it and do all this stuff, so he doesn't want to bother with it. But uh, he did it for me, so I'll see how it goes. Um, I was so grateful for him being such a big part of my childhood. And I you don't have to put too much pressure, just a little bit, when I was a kid, just to push the water out. And put into the stories, the visuals for the characters, and the way the stories were told were so vibrant and exciting. We're all just fools. And what I like about this film, 
is that it's pretty thick. So it's actually easier to install than the regular window film that I install in my window. Uh, this one, if you need to remove it and put it back on, it's a lot easier. This one, a so thin that once you put it on, uh, you try to remove it, it's just trash. Get the corners. Okay, make sure you get all the water. Uh, you don't really need to use that much water. This is the drawing. You can see Stan has. You don't need to put too much pressure, just like you're cleaning. So, looking good. Let's see here. We go to the state called Getting. Stan Lee was a big thinker. One of the biggest, you know. He helped create our oh. modern day world. You take it. And uh, full color world. Okay, again, it's the first time I'm doing this. And I didn't line up right. So let's try again. Stanley wasn't just the creator of comics, he was the lot of the life champion. That is what I do both novels and black box comics. But I needed a job and I was just getting out of high school and I saw an advertising for um, an assistant who did the comic book company and I applied. Oh, that's what happens when you do this for the first time. Uh, I guess once you do it a couple of times, you kind of get some practice and you can do it a lot faster. Oh, well, one thing you probably notice now, how easy it is to remove it if you make a mistake. Uh, you just take it out and put it back on. We just have to spray some more water. Okay, now it's good. Oh, let me check closely. Oh, yeah. Okay, now it's good. Yep. Uh, again, the first time is always a little bit harder. But I'll do a couple more and I'll do a side by side comparison so you can see it uh, up close. It looks very clear, so I'm really happy about that. Yeah. I can't really tell it's in there. So he gets frustrated with the comic book marketplace. That's really nice. Okay, um, I'm gonna pause here and then I'll do some close ups. All right, so. Uh, I've done a total of four books, uh, all four books to your left, and then um, once you do the first one, you become more proficient at it, so the other ones go a lot faster. Um, I have two books there, uh, these two, they're on mylar bags, and this one has no bag, uh, that has nothing on it. So uh, let's take a quick look. See how it looks. This is the Mylar. So the Mylar. And this is the UV film. And this one also has the UV film. 
Let's see like really close. You can see what the film started doing. And to be honest, unless you're like really close, you can't really tell. So it's perfect when I put them on my shelves. And those two also have it. Uh, again, you can't really tell. Again, for three, four bucks, or maybe five bucks. Uh, I think it's worth it. It's uh, additional protection for my books. Um, as you can see, I like to put some on the shelves, but they kind of don't look nice on the bags. Uh, so you can see uh, a couple of them in bags. And some of those bags are really nice. Some are my large, some are just regular bags. Uh, they don't really look that great. Uh, I'll show you here. Uh, those are my lar bags. They still don't look very nice. Uh, this one is not in a bag, so you can tell the difference how much nicer it looks. So, let me just put it like this so you can see how it will look on the shelf. In addition to the bags don't really protect from the UV light, so that's another reason. Okay, that gives you a nice look, so you can see how clear. Oh well, uh, I like it. Uh, I'm gonna do all my books. Well, all the ones that I'm going to put on the shelf uh, with that cover, protective cover, UV film. Um, I'm still going to keep some in here. But those, they don't need UV protection. They're inside the cabinet. But anything that I put on the shelf, I'll, I'll put the UV film. So that's it. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, if you have any other suggestions, uh, maybe you know something I don't know, you have a bad idea, just write it down there. Um, if you don't like it, just let me know why this is not a good idea. Maybe it's not really a good idea. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you.